We're on the front nine and we're sitting in Nancy's home. Thank you, Nancy, for having us and sharing sure. your home with everyone. I'm looking around at all these amazing pictures. We're in here to talk about uh, one of uh, Nancy's father's philosophies, which was no judgment zone. So what does that mean? Uh, when we go out and play on the golf course, we don't always hit perfect shots. But the idea is not to label the shot or add an emotion to it. You have to let it go, and if you can let it go, you can learn from it. And if you can learn from it, you can improve. So our goal when we go out and play is just to take one shot at a time and not to put any label or judge that shot, and then we're open to learn and to get better. And, you know, some of us don't get to play as much competitive golf as you did, Nancy. But in our uh, everyday rounds, we want to make sure that we don't attach a a label to a shot because we're not going to hit perfect shots. Even now when you're playing and back when you competed, what did you do to kind of counteract that to not make or put a label on a shot and to be able to keep going? Because you're the best at forgetting the last shot and moving on to the next shot. Well, I, I, I have to say I have to go back to when I first played on my first Pee Wee event. Okay. Back when I was eight years old. And um, you know, I just started the game before I was eight. I think I was almost eight and played with my dad. And he always had so many positive things to say to me. And I know as I went to this first tournament, Pee Wee tournament, um, he looked at me and I think that he expected me to be a little better than what I maybe thought I was going to be at age eight. And he looked at me and he said, Nancy, he said, um, when you play this game of golf, you're going to lose a lot more than you than you win. And it wasn't a negative. It was a positive. He was wanted me to learn that you were not going to play this game great all the time and that you had to accept it. You had to deal with it. Um, so as I played in this first Pee Wee tournament, it was an event for three days. Uh, I was a Pee Wee playing uh, nine holes each day. And at that time, I was shooting about 69, which was pretty good. I was concerned I just started um, for nine holes and uh, as I'm playing with these other peewees and excited to meet other young kids that played the game um, I'm playing with them and they weren't very good they really struggled to get the ball elevated which I was already doing that pretty much and so I would I felt frustrated and sad for them because I wanted to be able to help them so I would go up to where their ball was and I would pinch grass together because I figured they could elevate it more if it was on a tee. And so they would place their ball on that tee and, or the grass that I pinched up and they would hit it. And so the tournament, they let me do it. I never remember getting reprimanded for it or anything. And so that's how we played those three, hole, those three days of nine holes each day. So I'm playing with these peewee golfers. Not really comparing myself, except that I felt disappointed for them, and I was able to hit the ball a bit better. But as we played for three days, um, during those three days, I remember sitting down with my dad every day, talking about my golf. And it's amazing how I was very competitive, I think, even at that age. Because I kept making a 15 on this par 5. And so I had that conversation with my dad, and I said, Dad, I, I'm so frustrated because I keep making a 15 which I probably made it the first day and the second day. And I said, I know I'm, I can make a 10 on that hole. I just know I can. And he was always encouraging. He always told me that I was going to do better, uh, be patient, um, and always positive. He was always kind of stroking me and not letting me get down on myself. Um, so after three days of playing in this event, um, nine holes each day, I ended up winning by 110 shots. <laughs> and... I didn't even think about what I was shooting. I was just having a great time. I was trying to hit my best shot when I stood over every shot, which that's what my dad taught me too. Just when you step over a shot, swing the best you can, make your best effort, and you deal with whatever's going to happen. So the attitude of hitting a poor shot, I don't even remember hitting a poor shot because I always felt like I was always doing my best. And I think that's so important in golf uh, to be able to hit a bad shot and then go to the next one with a good attitude, which is going to help you hit that shot better. Absolutely. So there's no judgment on that shot. As Nancy said, you just get up there, you do the best you can. Her father taught her, helped her with that. And obviously it's proven to be a, a, a complete equation of success. So uh, just remember, 
no judgment zone, and always play happy.